Special thanks to Aspen. If you go into the woods today, you're sure to get eaten and die, so don't go. Rusty Quill presents Stella Firma. Hey, 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 don't worry, David. Okay, I'm Don't not. worry, David. No, I'm here. Good. I'm so glad you turned up for your shift. I'm a cheerful boy, David. Do you know why I'm a cheerful boy? Do not ask him. It is a trap. Why are you a cheerful boy, Trexel? Why do you do this? I'm so glad you asked, David, because I take pride in and joy in my work. And I don't know about you, that means something to me. You know, clones these days, the, uh, it's not like the old days. But where they just I got was... blended after about four hours. Exactly. They had respect. You're absolutely right, David. Now, nowadays, you just flit around, planning, you know, bits of trees and here and there. It's hard to turn a blind eye when you keep yelling, I'm guilty, recycle me, please, into my eyes. Complaining, <laughs> not a la- Oh, sorry. So I'll, I'll do that again. Not committing treason at <sighs> all at any point, but still nice. being Trexel. real naughty. And I just think it needs to change, David. And I've got an idea of how to do it. And you are welcome, David. No, oh, stop no. thanking me. You're welcome. Please, no. Can we just do the brief? Can we just do I the brief? I was chasing Fern Creature because I just needed one or two more ferns. You haven't got and more ferns. Please don't fill this office with ferns. David, I have got more ferns, but they're not for you. They're my ferns. Now, don't Good, worry about that. Because it's so hot in here, the ferns that we got yesterday have just died. All of That's them. That's all right. There's more ferns where they came from. And in, in a way, I feel like when a fern dies, it takes some sorrow with it out of the world. It's like a... Ferns are like a filter for sadness. At least that's my running theory, because I like ferns. This is not how ferns work. They are just ferns. You'll never guess who I found, David. Somebody who I should have introduced you to uh, uh, days, oh. if not weeks ago. Oh, no. The one person that can really bring some joy and fun back into your work, David, make you more productive, make you a better clone, make you a better employee. Is it Harry? He, he was nice. No, no, it's not Harry. Harry's not the answer. The answer is Vice Admiral Fun. Who? Vice Admiral Fun. You've had... You haven't heard of Vice Admiral Fun? They're always on just after the face. After the face does FaceTime with the face, you get the Vice Admiral Fun Happy Fun Time Vice Hour. Right. We all watched it. Oh, kids. Hey, kids. You've got a gloomy look on your face. But Vice Admiral Fun's coming with haste. Vice Admiral Fun is here with games and fun. Fun, fun, fun. Vice Admiral Fun, do you want to play a game? As long as it's theirs. Vice Admiral Fun, who's got fun shears. Cutting down the bush of sadness. Making it into the shape of a goat. Because goats are fun. As is Vice Admiral Fun. Yeah. No, I've never seen that program. Ah, it was all right. But Vice Admiral Fun is is the one surefire way to get any gloomy goose like you uh, up and running again. Uh, uh, okay. Well, so, that sounds broadly awful. So let's like table that idea and maybe do it never. Okay. Well, you're in luck because I've brought them, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Vice Admiral Fun appearing today by a mobile hologram unit live from the Fun Bunker, the most fun and most secure studio in the galaxy. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. It's so great to meet you, David Seven. Oh, oh you, you know my name. Grumpy Guts today. Yes, yes, they are Vice Admiral Fun. They are. They're a grumpy guts. No. Vice Admiral Fun. Um, um, could you, could you, could you yell your patented catchphrase that we all love? <gasps> well, if it's Vice, if it's Admiral, if it's Fun, then it's me. 
more of a catch sentence. It is. It's always you. Yay. Oh, good. I'm young again. I'm oh, young I'm again. So glad you're here. Well, we've got a brief to do, so let's get on with that. Now, before we get into that, let's not rush this. <sighs> Vice Admiral Fun is here, David, to inject a little bit of pizzazz and mm-hmm. zhuzh into our daily work. So Vice Admiral Fun is really going to guide us to being better, happier, more funnerific employees. Aren't you, Vice Admiral Fun? Yes, absolutely. I've got a whole host of fun, fun games that we could play that show oh, how much you love each other, how much you love the board, and how much you love Stella Firma. And working here! Yay! Yay! You know what? Let's start off with a game. Let's not rush into the brief. Let's start off with a game to get us in the mood. We've got roughly 15 minutes left, Trexel. But we've got roughly an infinite amount of fun to have! (laughs) Yay! (laughs) I can assure you that the amount of fun available in this room is decidedly finite. Well, I thought it would be lovely if you gave each other presents. Imaginary presents from the palace of your mind. But the person who gives the present doesn't decide what it is. The person who receives the present decides what it is. And they tell the other person, they say, thank you so much for being a wonderful present giver. So, David Seven, would um, you like to give a present to Traxel? It's not, not really a... Not really a... Um, here you go. Thank you, David. Do, do I unwrap it now? Yes. Yeah. Unwrap it and tell us what you have. Qu- okay, quickly, yeah. please. I haven't used much it. wrapping paper. It's really easy. With my mind. Uh, it's a bow. Who has a bow? Uh, is I anyone got I... any mind scissors? I'm not. No, uh, I don't. I'll, uh, no. I'll tear it open with my mind teeth. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, well, so many layers of mind paper. Ah, here we are. Here we okay, are. Okay. <gasps> David. David, it's a beautiful sketch of me looking wistfully out of a port window, and there's a speech bubble coming off of it saying, Oh, no. Gosh. Aren't I the luckiest clone haver in the world? I love my clone, David Seven. And they love me. You have clearly misunderstood the concept of love. And then if you turn it over, it also has money in it. Isn't that wonderful? Well done. Isn't it lovely? That's absolutely fantastic. Was... I never knew you thought I felt about you that way, David. I mean, it's a bit overblown. Sure, <sighs> I'm not that fond. But it's nice. The sentiment's Great. nice that you think I feel that way about you. In fact, a little bit sad. I pity you, David. And in many <sighs> ways, pitying you is the greatest gift you could ever give me. So That's thank not... you, David. Started out so well and then just... However, this is mind money, and I would like real money from you. No, this is a mind. So if you could just give me... No, you, you, you can't promise mind money, Already, then not we've, give me... We've already gone through that David place. I, I, fun. I don't remember that, David, so it can't be true. Can you give me some cash? There's nothing left, you fiend. You monster. You took everything. Everything. No. I don't know about you, Vice Admiral Fun, but I don't think David's uh, playing a very fun game here. I think David's being a naysayer. And what do we say to naysayers? We say, nay to naysayers. Nay to you. You're a sad horse and you're turned into glue. You're a sad horse, so no more with you. A sad horse doesn't live in a house. It gets shot behind the barn. Boom. Yay! Oh, you remember my songs better than I do, Trexel. Oh, that was fantastic. I do. It was all I had. Oh, okay, right. So I better give a gift. Yeah, uh, yeah. Better Come give, on, let's give yeah. a gift to you. Do that because yes, we haven't got going. the brief out yet. The joy train rolling. Keep it quick. Uh, now, okay, I I have forgotten to buy David a gift. Is that a problem? No, that, that's, you uh, can buy one right now from your mind shop. Wait. Oh, well, what's, okay. But hang no, on, it's, tre- it's tre- mind. Quick. It's mind this? Sunday. Just, so I, I don't know if the mind shop's open. Hang on, I'll have a I'll have a no, check. Hang on. Tre- uh, no, Trexel, I've just. I found, uh, I found, look, under under here, look. Oh, look, you've already got me a present. It's, um... Under the mind tree. Yes, it's, it's, oh, look, it's a brief. Oh, you've got me a What's brief. Oh, it's just what I, I always wanted. That. Wait, look, let I wouldn't me, buy no, that. quickly, let me just unwrap Vice it. Vice Admiral Fun, oh, no, look, Vice Admiral Fun, they're, this, they're, making, no, they're making a naughty, is, naughty sad horse from, move. This I is from have Scarlet. Bought... And, uh, and her, where she's from is she probably, she probably shouldn't disclose this. Oh, Trexel, this is, this is just what I wanted. Thank you so much. Anyway, see, oh, okay, lovely. so... So I inherited this shipping company from my aunt. She was totally above board, hail the board, and by the book, since I took over, we've been doing a lot of not-so-above-board, hail the board, things. 
You know, a little theft, a little moving of illegal goods here and there. Just wondering what the ratio of above board, hail the board, under the table, hail the table, operations has to be before we should just stop pretending to be a shipping company and fully embrace the title of space pirates. Oh, okay. Trexel, this is, oh, this is so nice. And we've got a whole maybe ten minutes to work out this and not be killed. It's a weird gift, David. It's a weird gift that I've given well, you. But hey, well, if I gave it to you, then it must be good. And Vice Admiral Fun said that I had to come up with the present you gave me. So this is what I've decided. Isn't this fun? Is it doing Vice our Admiral mandated Fun? Work I, want fun? A, I want a ruling on this. Is this allowed? Are we allowing this? Yes, absolutely. Whatever comes from the wonderful mind palace of the person who receives the gift is correct and right and good and gets all the balloons on their birthday. So decrees the judge in this court of fun. Thank you, Why would it all the balloons on my birthday? Where are my mind balloons? Well... Here you go! <gasps> Yay! Pop, 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 pop! No one has them except me! Ah. Right, okay. Well, I think since David Seven got a brief, I think we should maybe take a look at it and see what we can do with it. Oh, okay, Vice Admiral Fun. Right. Okay, so, um, so this is a question which has plagued me before. At what point does your shady underground crime hobby just become your shady underground crime vocation? You know? Mm-hmm. Sure. I occasionally break into people's sleeping quarters and steal their oh, valuables. Dear. Like, not because I'm a burglar, or not because I'm a, I'm a pod breaker, but just because it's sometimes people have lax insecurity and it's fun to do. But then when you're doing it every night, and then sometimes during the day when people are at work, and then actually instead of your other work, at what point am I just the best burglar in, in the universe, you know? When is there so much horseradish sauce that the beef falls out? When's the tipping point? Interesting. I'm not sure. I'm. That's not really my area of expertise. My expertise is more in fun. So, I would like to hear what David Seven has to say. Yeah. What do you think the tipping point is, David? What the ratio? tipping point of you going well, from no, no, being no, no, an executive no, consultant to just a thief? No, 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 no. Not me. Not me particularly. A, a, a one's tipping point. You know, at what percentage do you go from like doing some stuff on the side? When does the side hustle become the main gig, David? Well. Well, well, here's the thing. The, the, the problem here is that I, I think what they're, what they're doing now um, are, are not so, um, you know, board approved. Uh, but it seems like they are, oh, let's say, following their fun. So, so Vice Admiral, if you have, what if, what if their fun isn't board approved fun? Which fun should they follow? Board That's fun or question. their fun? Hey. Eh? And who's better to rule on this than Vice Admiral Fun? So, Vice Admiral Fun, given your total commitment to fun and joy and following your bliss, and also your total commitment to the board and rules and stella firma, if those two are diametrically opposed, <laughs> which one do you follow? Uh, I. <laughs> okay, they're, they're turning. Oh, they're, they're kind of choking. Uh, Have you? Are you having an anaphylactic shock I, to that question? I, I, I think I'm allergic to to moral quandaries. Uh, <clears throat> just give me a moment. It would appear that the armada of fun is aflame with this antinomy. Just give me a moment. <coughs> are you? Are they, are you I, oh, oh God! Oh, they've, oh. They've, sw- they've swollen up. <clears throat> Oh, that's that's weird. Hang on a minute, but 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 Vice Admiral Fun. I mean, how could you have such a, a strong reaction to this? Surely you come up against these moral quandaries all the time. How to have fun and also total commitment to the board and obedience in all things. Well, I think that whatever the board says, that is fun. And whenever someone suggests that something is fun that is not board approved, I come up in hives. It's not very pleasant. And also I get very phlegmy. It's not pleasant. <coughs> how, how much time do you spend sort of swollen and phlegmy in that case? It's mm, about uh, 98% of the time possibly. Oh, wow. A lot of people think that fun things are not related to the board in any way, which is completely and utterly wrong. Well, except in, sure. in this specific case where obviously yeah, they're the following their fun just... and, and they're saying it's all it's all below, below <laughs> board. <laughs> oh god, what have they got Okay. Okay, okay, David, David, stop talking, stop talking. Vice Admiral Fun, Vice Admiral Fun. I think you've misunderstood. Uh, this person, she clearly wants to, to space pirate in a way that the board likes. Uh, pirate our enemies, for example. Then it would be pirating and fun. No, that would be space privateering. Well, I mean, sure, David, but Vice Admiral Fun's going to suffocate if we don't, you know, coat the pill a bit. I'm not really 
bothered you. You, you, you brought them here. You're ruining Vice Admiral Fun. Vice Admiral Fun was the one thing I had going for me for years and ye- you know, you're stuck on your own and the meat pile started to smell and you've lost the fork because you were chucking it at the wall so that you could get it like jam in there and Im- impress girls and, and hot boys and things like that and, 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 and you chucked it just sort of like through an airlock so you're just eating stinking meat with your hands. But then Vice Admiral Fun's on and it's all a little bit better. So maybe, David, maybe you could not ruin this for me. Well, do you think you maybe, could do that? Maybe you shouldn't shouldn't meet your heroes. Because they yeah, turned out to be Vice Admiral Fun. Yeah, a big puffy mess. A big sad puffy mess. You're right over there, Fun. I'm just having a wonderful time staring at the wall. Isn't this wall lovely? I love walls. Unfortunately, the walls do not love you back. They are just walls. I don't think that's true. I don't think they're having a wonderful no. time. No, the smile's got a bit rictusy. Uh, okay, no, yeah, you know what? All is not lost. We can still have fun. Let's just, let's just, let's just, you know what? Let's play another game. Yes, Vice Admiral Fun, why don't, we, why don't we play another game? Wonderful idea. Right, my next game is called I've Eaten All the Slurry. <gasps> Doesn't that sound fun? Doesn't that sound fun? It does fun? sound fun. It does sound right. fun. Right. So, what we're going to do is we're all going to close our eyes and someone <sighs> is going to say, I've eaten all the slurry. But in okay. a silly, silly voice. And the people who didn't say it have to guess who it was. Okay, okay, okay. okay. okay, okay. Uh, now, my eyes don't close quite as well as they used to, but I'll just put my hands in front of my face, if that's okay. That is absolutely fine. All right. Okay. Let's close our eyes. One, two, three. <gasps> Trexel's eaten the slurry. I did it. I did it. Trexel ate it. Well, David Seven, can you guess yeah, who it was did tra- the silly it was, voice? It was, it, was, it was Trexel. It was his How voice. How did you it know? Was, how did you know? I was so... You said, you no, said, that was you said clearly your own, different. You said your own name. Yeah, but it was a double bluff. Like, who'd say their own name? In you. Oh, and I did. Right, let's play again. Let's play again. Let's play again. Okay, try again. Try again. All right. All right. Three, two, one. I'm David Seven. I'm David Seven and I ate the slurry. Look at me. I'm a stupid slimy clone and I ate all the slurry. Look at me, David Seven. <sighs> It was, it was Trexel again because um, no, what, no, it was. I, it said it said David Seven, and you said it wasn't a double bluff. So they said they were David Seven. So what's your problem? Well, you 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 started insulting me, which I wouldn't do to myself, and and well, you would, and you you you, you still you. you still used your own voice, so it was pretty obvious that it was. Unless uh, Vice Admiral Fun, can I can I hear your your Trexel impression just to make absolutely sure? Let's see. It's been a while since I've done impressions on the show. Actually, let's let's see what I could do. I'm Trexel Geisman, and I love to do things. The <laughs> ball and the fun are not compatible. <laughs> yeah, Stop that. Trexel, now, I, David. I don't think you should really use that against them. That seems a bit cruel. They were doing a mean impression, David. So. No, they were, they, they were just trying to do an impression. There was nothing wrong. They said you liked doing things. You do like doing things. Who says? You do. Only Trexel gets to say. I'm a self-determining being, David, and I won't be mocked or made fun of. You are a self-determining Burke. I'm a noble steed. Uh Look at my hooves. I'm no sad horse. I'm a happy stallion. Let's make some glue. Well, I apologise, Trexel, if my impression caused any offence... And I would yeah. like to offer you a bouquet of mind balloons. Oh, mind balloons! Oh, you know what? Fun. This time I'm gonna I'm gonna put my face in the mind balloons and let them bounce off them. I've had an accident. Oh dear. Well, let's just move swiftly on from that very odd interaction and try another game, shall we? Let's just try another game. That one didn't let's quite work, to another so game. let's try another game. Oh, yeah, let's try Lots another game. Lots of these games don't seem to work all that well. Let's just push why, through the why, pain. Why are the games so bad, Vice Admiral Fun? Why are these bad games? Because you should be good at this, because you've been doing it so long. So why are the games bad? Well, I, I think they're good, actually. I think they're... Very Why? Good games. Why do you think they're good? They're, they're not working and they're bad and they're not making David have any fun and I feel quite hurt. So why are you so rubbish at this? That's it's just an honest question. Why are you bad at this? Um. Well. Uh. I. Uh, you know, on the show, uh, yes. we have a thing called a script and I read out the script and uh, it's scripted. But I thought we were just seeing inside your fun vice admiral funhouse. Well, it was. What are you telling me? It was a lie. It's. it's you're telling me it was a lie it, now. It, it's inspired by true life. And my life is very fun. So... Is it? It's very, very fun. Uh-huh. I love walls. Walls are good. Walls what? don't yeah. scream. <laughs> walls are fine and have no opinion of you. Vice Admiral, what's your fun? I I don't know. Just whatever the board says is fun. 
that's my fun. No, no, but like, oh. you know, deep down, what's your fun though? Because we all, you know, we all hail the board. We all love the board. Everyone loves oh, the board. Yeah, I love, love the, the board. board. You love the board. Everyone yeah, loves the board. the board. But you know, when when it's dark at night, and you're just sitting there alone, what do you think? Like, you know what I'd love? I'd love to be doing this. What's that? What's what's yeah. your what's your when bliss? You, when you close your eyes, what do you see on the inside of your eyelids? I see an elephant farm. Okay. Now that is a surprise. No, let's look. Yes, and and, yeah. and what are you what are you doing in this elephant farm? I'm I'm breeding the elephants. I'm encouraging the bull elephants to breed with the lady elephants. Oh oh oh. Um, and how, so your how dream are you is... and how are you doing oh, yeah. that? I'm playing them sensual music. Okay, your fun's weird, and it makes me uncomfortable. No, that, that fun's absolutely That's fine. That's weird fun. What, I mean, what, you, hey, you're standing next to a herd of elephants saying, Come on, get on with it! Make some progeny, you sexy trunked beast! Well, someone's got to do it. Yes, exactly. That's true, someone's got to do it, and they found a pervert, Vice Admiral Fun. So, Vice Admiral Fun, what I'm learning here, what I'm learning here is that my childhood was a filthy lie. It's what I'm learning here. I thought I was watching a true and honest account of a real person having fun, and now I find out that it was a scripted, scripted lie conducted by an elephant pervert. That is the case with more media than you would imagine. I don't quite know how to respond to that. I I never intended for my show to be a lie. I thought that it was a wonderful, magical fantasy that every child could enjoy. I understand why they replaced you with Captain Joy now. <gasps> I get it. You know, before I didn't, but I get it now. I get why you were replaced by Captain Joy. Captain Joy. Captain Joy is the only thing in Stella Firma that is not fun. Ooh, harsh words. Okay, seem to have stepped on oh, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a hot topic there. Um, it's gone quite red. And oh, there's some. You know what? I don't, I don't know if you noticed, but quite how big Vice Admiral Fun's fists were before they sort of started clenching like that. Um, how about we? Uh, how about we finish off this brief, David? Just quickly finish off this. Maybe we should get Vice Admiral to help us. Just, just maybe calm them down a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, so Vice Admiral Fun, moving away from your utter replacement uh, by Captain. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Moving. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. Moving, moving. No, okay. Uh, uh, moving away from anything that I have ever said. Um, if you're going to be a space pirate, you know, yes. in line with the board, do you think you should just be like out and proud? Like, hey, I'm a space pirate and that's okay. I mean, pirates are fun. They are fun hats. Fun yeah. hats, fun cravats, and fun bats. Or a bat, or a bat. Space bats. They're 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 the they're the new fancy parrots. Okay. This season's parrots are bats. David, I I think that I think they're a rambling fool. I'm really sorry. I don't know if I can just let them. Space bats are the new parrots. Who'd say something like that? I mean, it sounds like something you'd say. Oh, it must be pretty good then. Well done, Vice Admiral Fun. Keep going. Thank yes. You. Okay. So, yes. so Fun Space Pirates have a space bat instead of a parrot. Yes. Yes. And uh, their ships have special uh, jet thrusters that allow them to go through <laughs> deep space. So that's sure. wonderful. Uh-huh. And their sails. And when we get to the, the murdering bit of being a pirate, what's fun about that? If you're murdering bad people, in a fun way, then that's fine. Quis custodiat ipsos piratis. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I, just out of interest, when you are swinging over onto a ship, space laser cutlass in mouth, and, you know, descending upon someone to cut off their head and maybe their hands, at what point do you sort of check in to see if they're a bad person or a good person? You say to them, do you love the board? And if they say no, then you cut off their head. What, while you're swinging? You're like swinging over and going, do you love the board? And then they've got about, like, two seconds to respond. Yes. Otherwise you assume no and then slice. Yes, exactly. Give them a fair shot at declaring their love for the board. Two seconds is the board-mandated amount of time for people to declare their love for the board, and then heads off. All good. Well, it sounds about as fair as anything in Stella Firma, so that that checks out. And pretty fun. Yes. So I'll just tell this person to. So Scarlet needs to just be just be a proud pirate. Lose the pretense. Get her to get be a, a bat. proud bat wielding. Go around screaming questions. Murdering, cut question people's heads screaming, off. head cutting. And he gets the Vice Admiral Fun seal of approval. So whenever you swing over to somewhere, just say, I've been sent by Vice Admiral Fun! Slice! Yes, and make sure to check if they love the board, and if they do, just 
have a party with them, and if they don't, cut off their heads. That's fun that's space the party. Vice Admiral fun way. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I think I think I'm we're all gonna... done here. So you could pop think you this. Can go, Vice Admiral Fun. I think you can go. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for such a fun, fun time. Oh, it was now, so fun. Which bar are we going to now? Which bar uh, are we going to for the after party? Um. I, I, oh, got I, don't know. I don't know, Trexo. Uh, I mean, I, I obviously can't leave this room. It's board mandated. But you can. You should probably... Uh, <gasps> and Vice Admiral Fun can go anywhere on her portable holodeck. You and Vice Admiral Fun should go well, go to a nice bar. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a dancing lesson, I think. You could, which, oh, you I, could I go to the... You could, you could both squeeze into the asteroid booth. You know, have no, a booth I've together. Got very I've got a, I've No, got a, no, no. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure Vice for, Admiral could like, tell you all for, about for, their elephant farm. It, I'm, yes. just, I'm just checking the coupon. It actually... It explains buyers in 25 minutes so I've, I've really got to well we can go be now. fast we can run we can scoot on over to the other yeah. my legs yeah. my legs don't, don't work with some elephants no that sounds lovely my, yeah. no, off, I, off you both off you both go just enjoy David, your David, evening okay. oh. I'll clean up here <laughs> bye 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 uh, bye 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 Stella Firma is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill Limited and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. It was created by Tim Meredith and Ben Meredith and produced by Katie Seaton with executive producer Alexander J. Newell. In today's episode, Imogen was played by Imogen Harris. David Seven was played by Ben Meredith. Trexel Geisman was played by Tim Meredith. Vice Admiral Fun was played by Maddie Searle. Katie the Coin Friend was played by Katie Seaton. Editing was by Maddie Searle, with music by Samuel D.F. Jones and artwork by Anna Kakan. Mastering by Jeffrey Nils Gardner. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Discord server, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at the Rusty Quill. Join our Reddit community on r slash rustyquill. Visit us on Facebook or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. May the board preserve and keep you. Hi everyone, Alex here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Lily McGee. Bruna Thomas, Musbutch, Bridget Smith, Kayla Young, Roblin, Deanna Smith, Whitney Reynolds, Indigo Prince, Jeremiah Okoa, Elsa Bouchard Lucas, Olivia McRae, Harrison Stanley, Amanda Geisler, Tatum Hedrick, Nero, Romilly, Protect Martin Squad, Judith Bouchard, Emma Firth, Tori, Alex Dempsey, Kate Shipley, Courtney Dietz, Heli Claire, Mime Screaming, Mackenzie Dodd, Erin Leisure, Jay Kun. Aubrey, Michaela Christianos, Micah Rack, Garrett M. Beeg, Flynn, Christy Abraham, Lindsay Lutz, Dree Snow, Curry, Benjamin Horn, Lauren H. P., Just Heather, Claire Burnjack, Ellis Gallagher, Kit Mitten, Raphael Hawk, Mia CM, Leo Nine Raw, Nick Welker, Molly Rose, Daisy Bell. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, Go to www.patreon.com forward slash rustyquill and take a look at our rewards.